Well, it happened. No sooner do I get my shed together and I go and turn it into a dang barn. So, welcome to White Shed Barn. You know when you think about getting things that are cute and think about them for years and years and years and then you see them one day in a moment of weakness when your defenses are down because it's been a long winter and you hear these little meep 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 yep I gave into it went and bought me some birds hold on <coughs> oh. Ugh. Okay, we're back. I uh, <coughs> think I caught COVID from the birds. Anyway, it's our flock. Ooh. I've got for sure four pullets. And uh, I don't know the breeds. That's <laughs> something I, I should probably know, but I don't. Um, and then uh, I've got two that are probably roosters. <laughs> We'll find out here. Well, I like my phone. That's all right. Let me, uh, let me zoom out here. So this is my makeshift brooder. I'm uh, going to update this tonight. I, I had to move that heat lamp up there because it's uh, 250 watt. I just bought the bought all the supplies from Tractor Supply. I said, hey, just hook hook a guy up. Uh, anyway, it's way too hot. So um, my thermometer was sitting down there. It was about 80. 83 or so with it up there, but I have a uh, ceramic heating element, I think they call it, that's coming today, and I'm going to reconfigure all of this. But it's worked out really well as a brooder. Um, the only thing we had to buy, other than all the things and the chickens, uh, was this tote. And this is kind of fun. You can see them through the sides. They seem to, they seem to dig it. And then I had some leftover shelving that kind of just fits on top. And I'll, uh, I'll take another, another shot of this later today or maybe tomorrow when I reconfigure it. But anyway, so yeah, I'm, uh, I'm working in my shop slash uh, barn and I'm trying to get things organized. Spring has sprung here in the backyard. The clover is coming in pretty good. Yes, I am planting clover. Yes, I am that guy. I also laid down a bunch of forage down in the backyard because this will be, I guess, my pasture. This is my play system that I had built for my daughter when she was, oh gosh, four. So we've had that for nine years and actually got the bulk of it from a friend of ours. And they had that for probably 10 years. So this thing has been upcycled and recycled several times. And now it's going to be upcycled and recycled into our coop and run. Well, this is the very start of the project. I basically deconstructed all of it yesterday. <laughs> Made the uh, carpenter bees very angry. But this is going to be the coop. I, I lowered the deck height that was right there. So I dropped that down. Um, I'll put hardware cloth underneath there and that'll be open for the ladies to go under during the heat of the day although it's not really too uh too much of a problem for shade back here as you can probably see but in any case they'll have that open and then uh, i'm going to just use some either t111 or t11 siding their uh, little door will be here and i'll just use the a-frame of the swing set and put uh, chicken wire across all the way down. Figure that would be a good thing to do with this. And then on this side, sorry about the road. We will have uh, just you know a man door to, to get into the, the run. And then back here we'll also have a door to get into the coop. So I won't spoil the surprise. I've got kind of a fun little design I'm gonna do with it. I think it'll be fun. And that is what I'll be working on right now. Other projects are sort of on hold because, you know, when you got livestock, um, you pretty much got to take care of them or they are no longer live stock. All right, well, that's a quick update. That pretty tree. And uh, 
I'll, uh, I'll do some more here later, probably in this video. And if not, ta-ta for now. Uh, well, things, things have escalated a little bit. It's been uh, a couple weeks since I last talked to you. My little cute babies are turning into awkward teenagers. We may have a rooster or two in this mix as well, but this is what I ended up with for my brooder. Turned out to be uh, pretty good. I switched the light bulb that came with the kit from Tractor Supply. I think I mentioned that in the previous installment to that which is much more controlled heat. Somebody may want to fry these birds later in life, but I don't want to right now. Yeah, so they're growing up, which means it's time to think about getting them out of my shed. Because, you know, I've got things to do. So I have this play system over here. <coughs> Correction. I had this play system over here, and now it's going to be my coop and run. So, yeah, um, it's been a while since I purchased lumber, and no shock to anyone but me, it's really expensive. <laughs> so, most of this is, in fact, all of this is used lumber that I've found that uh, was either part of this project or another project. And so that's been good. I was able to get all that put together for free. And then I purchased the cheapest T111 siding I could. Um, it's mostly paper. I don't think it's wood at all. And then some very lightweight plastic roofing, three two by fours, a roll of hardware cloth, and I think some screws to the tune of $260, which is, outrageous so at the going rate of three dollars a dozen or maybe it's six now with inflation for chicken eggs uh this will pay itself off in 10 years so yeah good for me all right well i just thought i would uh, start adding some video content here as i build this uh i've got it all framed ready to go put the siding on so that's my next step and i will come back when i got that done progress it's been made here's my super expensive siding I've got a couple holes to cut here uh, nesting box goes there when they're ready and I might put a window there and have decided and then down here um, on the bottom I'm putting a vent Here's this side, so that uh, up there is window vents, venting windows. I miscalculated my sheets, I don't know how. I thought I only needed uh, two to get the sides done, but indeed I needed three. So I'm going to be purchasing a little heavier duty version of the siding. Yeah, you can see here that's where the nesting box is going to go and then that bottom section will be cut out and hardware cloth put in there for vents since it is the south and then the door for the coop will go just right where that orange level is. Yeah, so that's it. It's uh, plenty big. I'm six foot two and I can stand up in it, which is great. Um, probably going to line it with vinyl flooring. And then I got to you know figure out some door and probably steps to get in there and then the last part is going to be covering their run the old uh, swing set in chicken wire but that is not going to be this weekend's project that'll be the next project and then we'll get into the run from this side let's put a little door here so i think it's going to look out uh, work out good i think it's going to turn out okay I'm planning on using the remaining deck boards i've got from various other projects to trim it out so yeah that's it. 
several, several days later. Um, I'm making some progress. Birds are looking like birds. I don't know why I would think they'd be anything but birds. So this is their temporary little uh, outside experience while I finish up putting poultry wire on the old swing set. So I just ran out of staples, which means I've got to run to the store. And I am one two by four short and one deck board short for my trim. So all told that wasn't too bad. I uh, almost made it. I had ripped the old uh, deck boards I had from other projects and used that to trim out the siding, which turned out all right. But I ran out for this edge here. It's uh, it's okay from far away. I don't know what happened here. I think the top of those four by fours were pretty well racked, and I didn't notice it until after I put the uh, plywood up. So I had to make a decision, and the decision was to make the window square, which means it's you know. <laughs> Well, it looks, it looks like a chicken coop. The roofing turned out great. I had just enough to finish what I needed. I will add a gutter on the back side of that at some point. Probably. I do have a rain barrel that I've had for years. I'll just put it back there and collect agua off the top of the bird cage. And yeah, I've got just the end to do and then these little triangles and then the run is finished uh, once I build the door and then I'm going to be popping in a little door for the chickens to come out of. Now that I look at this I should probably get two deck boards because I do have that strip where I know you can't see it but there's a, a line there. Not that it matters but it would it would look pretty good just to trim that straight up. Anywho, yeah. so here's the project. It's going well. It's 87 degrees out, 88, good lord. Uh, this is May 25th, I don't even know, but it's hot. So it, uh, it's a good test to see how the chicken coop is gonna perform. And it's not full, full shade now, but it will be certainly in the heat of the summer. And it's perfectly comfortable in there for the, for the girls. Plus my plan is just to have them run Every morning I'll just kind of go out here until they're big enough to roam in the yard and then when I I'll wait until <laughs> until my roosters start to crow I think I've got well I know I've got one for sure and I might have two um, but that'll be sometime in June when they'll start being annoying and then at that point they should all be big enough to be able to come outside of the run and forage around for all the bugs and spiders I have in my backyard for them Anyway, that's it, a little update. Got a little bit more to go, and then I'll finish up with the final tour of the coop and the run for the farm. <sighs> well, they're out. I've got it a good enough to put them out here. And they seem to be enjoying the space. Apologize for the road. That's my next my next goal is to get off of this road So I can have a little bit of peace and quiet in my day because it's a lot Anyway, all six of them are out here Our four pullets and probably two roosters uh, <laughs> Found the ball um, Yeah, happy with this Got a little bit more work to do tonight and then um, put them back up into their coop for the night uh, Time for me to get some groceries down my neck but girls are outside, and boys. Girls and boys are outside. And it looks like they're gonna enjoy it. So hopefully when I come back out after dinner, they'll still be here. And uh, yeah. I'll uh, show you the finished product when it's finished. Oh, I'm so tired. Almost, almost done. All that's left is Oh, the door mechanism latch thing for the birds and some paint 
and I'm gonna call it a day with the, the chicken coop. So there it is. From uh, play system to coop in, I don't know how many hours, maybe 10 hours, 12 hours, I'm not sure. It's not perfect, it's perfect enough. I just put them back in, I had them out tonight and they were quite confused by the whole ordeal. All right, it's time for bed. See you tomorrow. <laughs> oh, yeah. They're a lot of fun. So that's the more than adequate door to get in and clean out their coop. And then I think you see the other door for the for the run. Made their little uh, ramp. I've got their food and water out here. They have another source of water inside. So they're not going to... I'm gonna die of thirst tonight and then this is just my makeshift lock i'll probably do something like that um because you know it works and then i'll have to decide how i'm gonna do it but it's not a big deal to go in there and open it up in the morning anyway so this is that yay and it didn't turn out half bad looks nice i'm not sure uh what i'm gonna paint it I'm gonna go. I've thought about red and white, but I kind of like the natural look too. It, uh, it's all it's all treated except for the T T11 siding. That stuff's basically toilet paper, so I'm gonna have to do something with that. But the rest of the wood is all treated lumber, so it could stay like this and be happy, happy, happy. I mean, it's not gonna stay like that. It's gonna turn into mold <laughs> and mildew. Yeah. And algae because it's hot yes yeah, speaking of hot it's like it was 90 degrees today so I'm a little I'm a little spent but that's the coop I'm happy with it turn out good girls seem to be happy with it girls and probably two boys but thanks for Rooster? Rooster. Bummer. It's perfectly normal to sit inside your chicken run with your birds, isn't it? Well, hi. Yeah, this is normal. Everything's fine. Hello there. Mm -hmm.